This is hello ground. It's called Launchpad 39A. And it's the place that the first humans left Earth then went to another heavenly body. So this is, I think, probably, the, I think it's the greatest launch site on Earth. Buzz Aldrin, Mike Collins, Neil Armstrong, get into the transfer van to Pad 39A. Pad 39A was uh, used for the Apollo 11 mission. And then with the space shuttle, so it's a place with incredible historical significance. Now, NASA has given Launchpad 39A to SpaceX to use. All right, guys, we're going to go up the elevator. Wait, what is this building called? This is the launch tower. So this is where the astronauts would go up. And then there would be a big arm that would swing over to the spacecraft and they'd walk down the gangway, climb in the spacecraft, go to the space. And this isn't floors, this is feet. Pretty cool. From the first explorers who ventured off our planet, to those who have risked their lives in pursuit of furthering our understanding of the universe, the astronauts and engineers behind the U.S. space program have spent decades advancing space technology. But building rockets was expensive. By the early 2000s, the U.S. space program was struggling, and a mission to Mars was hard to imagine. The space shuttle spreads its wings one final time for the start of a sentimental journey into history. It was then that a young entrepreneur had a revolutionary idea. With SpaceX, what we're trying to do is achieve a huge advancement in rocket technology. If you look at rocket technology, it actually got worse over time. In 1969, we were able to go to the moon. And then with the space shuttle, we were only able to go to low Earth orbit. And then with the space shuttle went away, and then we weren't able to go to orbit from the United States. So you, like, that's a negative trend line. It's not like you can extrapolate that trend line into the future and it gets good. It's a trend line to zero. So if it's not going to come from the government, then it's got to come from a private company. So Falcon Heavy ended up being a much more complex program than we thought. Well, we're super excited, obviously, at SpaceX to uh, announce uh, the, the, some of the details around the, the Falcon Heavy rocket, which is our, uh, our, our large rocket development, really large rocket development. Falcon Heavy is the most powerful operational rocket in the world. In addition to the center core, it's powered by two Falcon 9 rocket boosters that have each flown and landed once before. They'll now be reused to launch Heavy. Falcon Heavy is really a revolution in space technology. The long-term goal of SpaceX is to develop the technology necessary to establish a self-sustaining city on Mars. One of the most exciting parts of working at SpaceX is missions like Falcon Heavy. Now, these bold missions, these bold visions for just doing things better, but also doing things on a much grander scale. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get this pre-test going for dance floor removal. It's going to be the first time that we do it. So here's the number one rule. We're going to take our time and be safe. So I want everyone to uh, walk through, make sure the area is clean. We're not gonna have access to those areas once the dance floor is out. So let's do a FOD sweep and then we can get into it. There are things in your life that you will remember, you know, the birth of your kids. And then uh, when we landed a rocket here, um, and, and this one will be another one for sure. 
The fact that we built and we're launching the largest vehicle since Saturn V, the rocket that took us to the moon. Folks will look back on heavy as a stepping stone to Mars.